Hi, I'm Mark Pendergrast, and I'm going to sing you The Little Black Boy by William Blake, uh, a poem which I put to music. And it's an example of uh, dramatic irony where uh, what the main character is saying, and it's this is um, a little black boy who uh, was born in Africa, but uh, his mother moved, I don't know why, to England, and he wants to be white and feels inferior. And it's very, very sad. But clearly, William Blake uh, objects to that. His mother is, says some beautiful things about God living in the sun and that he should feel superior in ways for being black because he can bear the love coming from the sun better than the little white boy. Anyway, here it goes. <clears throat> My mother bore me in the southern wild, and I am black, but oh, my soul is white. White as an angel is the English child, but I am black as though bereaved of light. My mother taught me underneath a tree, and sitting down before the heat of day, she took me on her lap and kissed me, and pointing to the east began to say, Look to the rise in the sun, there God does live, and gives his light and gives his heat away. And flowers and trees and beasts and men receive comfort and mourn and joy in the noonday. And we have put on earth a little space that we may learn to bear the beams of love. And these black bodies and this sunburnt face are but a cloud and like a shady grove. And when our souls have learned the heat to bear, these clouds will vanish. We shall hear his voice saying, Come out from the grove, my love and care. And round the golden tents like lambs rejoice. Thus did my mother say, and kissed me, and thus I say to little English boy, when I from black and he from white cloud free, and round the tents of God like lambs we joy, I shade him from the heat till he can bear to lean and joy upon our father's knee, and then I'll stand and stroke his silver hair and be like him, and he will then love me. See, sad. Even though his mother has made him feel better, he's saying, well, when we're free of our bodies and we're running around the tents of God in the sun, I'll shade him from the heat till he can bear it. And then I'll stand and stroke his silver hair and be like him. And then he'll love me.